Good morning first, this is Naim Azam, Chief Market Analyst at Ever Trade, and welcome to our daily fundamental video. Apologies for a bit of a husky and voice, I'm still suffering from this uh, this flu which is really killing my throat. But nonetheless, when we are looking at the US stock market, it is all about the continuation of the downward trend. And I'm speaking of the NASDAQ index which has been under tremendous selling pressure for the last few days. In fact, yesterday, the NASDAQ index, as you can see in the chart, dropped nearly 5%. Now, what does that mean in terms of a price level? The NASDAQ is trading below its 50-day SMA. Now, that is a very critical level for the NASDAQ index. Now, if the index fails to break above the 50-day SMA, the next continuation of this downward move can easily lead the price near its 100-day SMA. Now, the move is no much different for other US stock indices that I'm speaking of the S&P and of course the Dow Jones index. The S&P is also trading below its 50-day SMA. As you can see in the chart, the move is pretty much dominant to the downside. But for the Dow Jones index, there is a slightly ch slight change in momentum because the Dow Jones index is currently in battle with its 50-day SMA. It hasn't broken below that. Now the question is, what are the fundamentals which are very much leading this downward move? Well, it is all about the tech sell-off because investors who were supporting this coronavirus stock market rally appears to be unfolding, uh, so appears to be folding their bets and no longer they are ready to support this coronavirus stock market rally. And this is why we are seeing this sell off in the tech sector. But there is something more important in the markets and that is in relation to potential coronavirus vaccine. Because remember, AstraZeneca was very much leading this coronavirus potential coronavirus vaccine, right? So this trial that the company was taking uh, was currently conducting has come to some sort of a problem because the people, one of the person who was involved in this trial has become ill. The company has started its investigation, but the question for investors and traders is, what does this mean? If the person is ill because of this potential coronavirus vaccine, that means we are going back to square one and the company will have to re uh, restart its trial and go through all the three stages. More importantly, if we see an echo of this message in other coronavirus trials which are taking place by different or various different pharmaceutical companies, that could be immensely negative for the coronavirus stock market rally, especially for the hospitality sector. And I'm speaking of airlines, cruises, host, uh, all the hotels, the entire hospitality sector could come under immense selling pressure. Now, speaking of crude oil, it has been under tremendous punishment because Brent oil broke its $40 level for the first time since June. It was only in June that Brent, uh, Brent oil prices moved above the $40 mark. Now the question is, with a potential halt on the coronavirus vaccine, the likely chances are that crude oil prices and Brent oil prices are going to continue their move to the downside. So what does that mean in terms of a support? For Brent, I believe that could be near 37. And for crude oil, I believe the near support, the near term support is at $35. That's all for today. See you guys next time.